Hey everybody, this is Sean Peck with the Metal News, May 14th, 2021. Michael Sweet and Tracy Guns have released their new album, Sun Bomb, today. A heavier offering with some great vocals and Tracy Guns getting into his Judas Priest influences. Personally, it's never a good idea to use the word bomb when releasing something that you want to sell. Um, but you can check it out for free on any streaming platform. They'll somehow try to figure out how to split the 1.2 cents if you listen to every song. So go and stream it for free like every other album in the world. Also look out uh, for a release today from a band called Seventh Crystal. I haven't heard it, but a little birdie told me to check it out. KK's Priest has released their first single, Hellfire Thunderbolt, to rave reviews. Great to have KK Downing back. The album comes out August 20th. An inter interview with Mitch LeBon, he says he's already working on music for the follow-up to that album. Memo to all of you people in the Priest forums and pages. It's okay to support both bands. You can like the KK band and you can like Judas Priest at the same time. You can do it. Documents reveal John Schaefer was actually the spray E, not the spray or. Apparently getting sprayed in the face by Capitol Guards while exiting the building. Spray unto others as you would have them spray unto you. It's a rule I've always lived my life by. It's Paul Shortino's birthday today of Rough Cut fame. He, I think he's from San Diego, where I am currently at. Happy 68th birthday. Uh, he also sang for Quiet Riot, but who hasn't, right? I mean, everybody's pretty much done that. The Louder Than Life lineup uh, has been revealed for Louisville, Kentucky, September 21st through the 26th. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Cypress Hill, Machine Gun Kelly... Stain. It's been a while since I said sorry. Uh, and Pennywise will round out this insane heavy metal lineup. Did you hear those names? Uh, Metallica and Judas Priest are also on the bill for some strange reason. Uh, Dream Theater is set to release Images and Words live in Japan 2017, citing it's the only good album we ever made. Check that. It's the only album we ever made that had one good song on it. Just kidding, they didn't say that. I said that. Okay. Uh, in the Corey Taylor Minute, the Corey Taylor Minute, he recently released a cover version of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Carry On. He was quoted as saying, their vocal harmonies were like superpowers, so this is my way of thanking them. Thanks but no thanks, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Motley Crue Poison Def Leppard Stadium Tour has been postponed until 2022. Wah, wah, shocker. Stadium Tour getting postponed. Uh, promoters saying they wanted to, another year for Vince Neil to focus on how to learn to speak English when he sings. It's my Vince Neil impersonation. Dave Ellison has gotten himself into some hot water over scandalous videos of private adult exchanges containing self-gratification, allegedly, with someone who is not his wife. We've all by now seen the uh, me, hello me, meet the real me memes, uh, and the jokes about him being Mustaine's right-hand man. But here at the Metal Daily News, we do not judge. We make fun of everybody equally, on an equal foundation Everybody is the same. Uh, and this just in, coming in hot off the presses. I've just been handed this. Thank you. Um, Cage has been anointed the greatest band ever in the world in a three-way tie with the Three Tremors and Death Dealer. Um, great, great news. We'll see you Monday.